uh, takes to the game. Um, they, they did some things over the course of nine innings that made them one run better. They had some good at-bats. Uh, they got Bill Ramon at the third time with the starter. That, uh, that extended him and gave them a chance to get to their closers pretty darn good. So they did a nice job. They played a better all-around game than we did tonight. And uh, they win 10-9. Game one goes to them. That late two-hour rally had, saw some, uh, some good two-strike hitting from the guys. What would you see in that two-hour rally? And at the end, uh, Chase did a great job staying on the ball, hitting the ball hard to right field, which you have to do against that young man pitching. And then, uh, obviously, uh, Rock led the inning off with a, a, a hard hit ball, uh, line drive to the right field, and hit the ball really, really hard. And then Nolan um, did a great job of getting on time with a big fastball, and when he gets on time, it, it has a chance to go. Obviously, Nolan now, in comparison to about two, three weeks ago, completely polar opposite hitter. What's been different about him lately? Well, I mean, you're drawing the most drastic parallel because he's hit in the last, what, two games, he's hit four homers and popped in 14. Right. And he's doing things right now that are <coughs> truly unique in baseball. And at the time you're referencing, he was grinding and battling like any great young player would in the heat of a difficult season. It's on schedule, right? So it's just playing the game, right? There's going to be some streaks during the season where Things don't come easy, and there's going to be some times when you're, you're in a great spot. And uh, I'd say it's safe to say he's in a pretty good spot right now. I know earlier in the season you mentioned some you know, early nerves for freshmen. I mean, how do you get freshmen like that through those moments as a coach? Um, well, he, he came here with a strong foundation. So he was raised correctly and, and given good food for thought as a young athlete, young man, a very mature person. Uh, he's got control of his life off the field, which allows him to be very and in control here. So those are all starting points. And then when you have guys in that frame of mind, they can learn. And uh, probably the greatest thing about Nolan is he, 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 he loves to be coached. He's a, uh, he's a uh, very serious, focused young man. He's not satisfied with success. He wants to be great. So he's trying to learn every day, no matter what the results are. So he just has a lot of really good qualities. Uh, Jerron had six earned, which is the most he's uh, given up all year. It seemed like his command was a little off today. What, what was your assessment of how he pitched today? Uh, I, was proud, I was proud of Jerome. Um, didn't come easy today, but I thought he competed hard on behalf of the team, and I appreciate that. Um, it wasn't an easy outing for him. They're a good offensive team. They seem to be on, on some of his pitches. But he hung in there and uh, tried to get us through five, and I appreciate the effort. And looking at uh, Stevens, he also, you know, had, had a bit of a tough jam to work out of, and uh, he allowed one, but settled in in the last two innings. And I asked Nolan, you know, kind of what did that do for your team? But what do you think about how he finished? You know, after you know being thrown into a really tough spot, but I feel like as a closer, that's kind of what those that's the position those guys love. Yeah. Well, I mean, by him, you know, keeping the game where it was, it gives a chance in the ninth inning to do something. So, you know, compliments to him. Uh, he's been awfully good all year long. He's What's the biggest thing uh, you, I guess, you know, kind of pointed to silver lining? Well, in your opinion, what's the thing that you think you guys did really well today that you're going to carry into the next two games? Um, well, I, I think you have to compete every single pitch, one pitch at a time, and play at a high level. There were moments in there where that occurred. Um, you have to, you have to have more victories in the pitch column that you win as a team than the opponent. Um, so. There were some good things there, but they did a nice job on their side too. And so we have to we have to match them, and then we have to beat them. We have to beat them uh, in every phase of the game in order to win the final score. So what do you take with you? Well, you take with you that you fought hard to the end, but I would expect nothing less from our team. Our kids have proven that they're going to do that all year long. They're proud, very competitive bunch. So you know, it's an it's an opportunity tomorrow to try to even the series. That's that's where it's at. It's a three game series. They win game one. Got to come out tomorrow and play good. The biggest thing you need to hone in on, kind of like in a, in a regard to just playing. What's the biggest thing you need to hone in on? Yeah, and, and you know, for tomorrow. And, well, uh, it'd be great to get off to a good start. It'd be good to get out and try to, you know, give Ben some 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 room. Try to get out and get to an early lead. That'd be great. Um, play good defense behind him for sure. Um, and try to be relentless in all phases of the game, start to finish. Thing we talk about doing on a daily basis that I think would be, you know, a, a great, uh, great mindset heading into tomorrow.
you mentioned getting off to a good start. It seemed like you guys were playing from behind all game. Can that affect the psyche a little bit in at bats and things like that? Yeah, it could, it could but at this stage in the season, it, it, you can't allow it to, right? Um, you just have to do whatever it takes to win the game. You just have to battle and compete and, and support each other as a team and, and back one another up and, and take what the game throws your direction and handle it, right? Um, if the game demands that you come from behind, by gosh, you just have to have the internal ability to keep competing until you can flip the board, right? Uh, I mean, that's just the nature of the game, right? It's the beauty of the game. Um, do you enjoy playing out front? Sure. But I think, again, every game has a different personality. And great teams find ways to match the game's demands, no matter what that particular game asks of you. So they got two, we got two. They got two, we got two. They got two, we got one. They got four, we got two. So we, we, you know, we kept responding. We just, this is a responsive group of kids. Um, but in the end, they had one more than we did. And then Chase, has he surprised you at all? He's throwing people out. He's, he's, he's getting clutches. Awesome. I mean, I got, I got no other word for you other than awesome. It's about the best compliment I can pay for that. In all cases, toughness, durability, his focus, team-oriented mindsets, offensive defense. He's played awesome. And then my last thing, um, Jerron, despite not having his best stuff today, still had six Ks. Yeah. What does he do so well to, to miss bats, even whenever he's not on? Well, he's, a, he's an excellent slider. So strikeouts are usually a byproduct of the slider. Yeah, that's usually the pitch that the hitter struggle with. It's the slider. Josh, what are you expecting from the heart of them all on that? Well, what do I expect from him? Um, I've watched I don't know, four or five hundred of his pitches so far and charged him. I'll, uh, when we get done here, we'll do some more. Uh, he's a he's a, a live arm right hand pitcher. He's got some sink and some cut and some change ups and some sliders. To com competitive pitcher has been pitching on Saturdays in the conference all year long, so obviously he's been consistent. So he'll be another, it'll be another good challenge for him.